Recently, I made this video about the so-called Stalingrad ticking clock signal that was named by listeners, not me, because of the constant ticking sound it makes on 6 kilohertz. People quickly jumped into conspiracy mode and have linked it to a nuclear dead hand, a countdown to a new Russian offensive in Ukraine, and even made the link to the recent and tragic attack that took place at the Crocus City Hall, all as a way to try and explain this constant signal. The thing is though, it hasn't just been making the ticking clock sound, and by the way, if you want to know more about the Stalingrad ticking clock reference, then check the video in the description below. In short, it's been given the name, the tennis racket, and also the Stalingrad ticking clock by listeners. This stems from the Battle of Stalingrad, and the music the Red Army played as propaganda while the two sides fought over the city, which included a ticking clock. I thought in this video I'd cover some of the strange and unusual sounds that have been heard on 6 kilohertz in recent days. This is the ticking clock sound in case you missed it. Whoever's behind this station has also been playing a nuclear attack warning siren frequently too. In this clip from March the 22nd, another siren could be heard for a number of hours on the frequency before a change in the audio. Could this have been another transmitter taking over? From here a bugle was played before the signal shortly returned to the ticking clock. The same night saw the song Anthem for Russia by Lyub broadcast on the frequency for a couple of hours. The previous night on March the 21st, the bugle call ended and the ticking clock came back on, but this time with some sort of distortion, possibly an effect of propagation. March the 23rd saw a sort of hybrid nuclear warning siren that turned into a bugle. This was sent for a number of hours before ending with the bugle call and a return of the ticking clock.
Sometimes the bugle calls are shorter in length and cut off mid-play to return to the ticking clock, like in this transmission on March the 24th. That same evening, the same pattern of sounds was sent again, but this time at a lower pitch, which made it sound all the more eerie. So I hope you enjoyed this overview of all the weird and wonderful things that can be heard on 6 kilohertz. It's likely just a pro-Russian pirate, meaning the ticking clock holds no significance, but it's interesting to monitor all the same. Let me know what you've heard on this frequency, and as always, keep an ear close to the radio, you never know what you just might hear.